So I've just done a video where I was putting on a tempered glass screen protector onto this here, which is my Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. And it wasn't perfect. And I've got a feeling the reason why that was was just because it was kind of like user error on my part. But what it is, there was two bits of glass in this particular kit. So what I'm going to do in this video is put the second piece of glass onto my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. So for anybody who doesn't no, the uh, the S8 and the S7 are like basically, I think they are identical physically. So certain things that work on the S8 will work on the 7 and vice versa, which actually is a good point to make if you're coming from, a, a, let's say, a, an S7 to an S8. Chances are just keep all the stuff that you've used on your S7 because they'll be great on the S8. Anyways, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try and do this in one take, by the way. So I'm just going to pop this one out of the way if you give us a moment. So that's me essay going out of the way now what i'm going to do i'm just going to use the soft side of this case here to put me seven on i'll probably just call this the seven and the other one the eight and stuff we, we kind of know what i'm up to here and what i'm talking about now let me just pop that to one side so here are the remnants of this kit that i've just used which obviously had two uh, tempered glass screen protectors in so one there's a dust absorber in here now i'm not going to use that on this video and i'll explain why in a second there's the cleaning cloth, there's a cleaning wipe. Also, there's the frame guide thing, which I think these things are awesome. And then there is the other second tempered glass there. So let me get this out of the way. Like I said, I'm gonna try and do this in one take, just to try and prove a point for myself more than anything, really. Um, however, I will skip past bits as I do this, and I'll explain this now. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm just gonna try and get into this uh, do it all like I say in one take but what I will do I will kind of I will skip through certain bits which which I'll explain in a second but I will labor the point on one particular section anyway so what I'm going to do when I do the wiping and stuff we all know what that that's you know in, is involved in that I'm just going to wipe the screen down then I'm going to dry it off so that might take me a little while because I want to be thorough so what I'll do I'll just kind of jump cut through that because we know exactly what I'll be doing um, this process about using the dust absorber, I am not using it for this one. I've never had any success with them. Now, I'm not blaming that for like my failure on the previous video, but I'm not gonna like chance it on this one. And then what I'm gonna do is I will pop the frame down, um, like as like the, the second to last thing that I do as in, pop this down just before I put the screen protector on. So like I say, I'll jump cut through the cleaning process and whatnot. Now, just as a reminder here, these frames have got lips on them like there. As you can see, it's got like an edge or a ridge, like a lip around it. You just basically pop that onto the, you know, onto your tab or whatever kind of tablet that you're using or even iPad, because you can get these for likes of iPads and stuff. Um, just get that, press it down, line it over, and then that allows you then to guide in the tempered glass a lot easier. Now, just last thing here as well. As we look at um, the screen here for the Tab S7, make sure that when you put them on, there's a notch here, which is where the camera lines up to. So that goes in there. Make sure that that is in alignment before you pop it down. Then obviously what you have to do here is, there's a little tab here with some kind of um, like cellophane on the back. You need to peel that, that layer off and then place it down. Now, with that said, I am now going to stay dead quiet. I will jump cut through parts here to do with the cleaning. I won't be using the dust absorber. However, when it comes to the bit after I put this on, I will stay through that in real time, but I won't be talking. I might have to get into the shot a bit more just so that I can make sure I know exactly what it is that I'm doing. So let me get into this now.
okay, I've obviously messed up again here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna really botch this now. I'm gonna try and lift the glass up from the edge, bring it back to these bubbles and then let it resettle again. Let me just see if this will work without me shattering the glass. Now obviously I'm running the risk here of putting some kind of, you know, like grease or whatever into the corner, but I will live with that as long as I can get rid of these bubbles. So there's one absorbed. Oh, there's, oh, that's all of them now. So let me bring it back down again. In fact, I'll try and let it settle itself here. Okay, so it will want to settle itself. Now let me try not to jump the gun. Oh, I just did. <laughs> Hey, let me get into that corner there. Oh, actually, this other corner is taking care of itself quite well. Okay, right, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to, like, maybe I'll speed this up so you can see exactly what I'm doing, so I'm not kind of skipping any points here. So I'll speed through this, which is me just kind of tidying it up and, like, cleaning it and stuff like that. But I've got a feeling this might be okay. Okay, I've got a feeling that that is bob on now i know i cheated a bit at the end but i had to because there was something a bit weird going on with the bubbles actually hold on let me i've just give a little bit of a mark in the middle there right what i'm going to do i'm going to show you first before i switch it on uh, let you see the edges and you'll you'll hopefully see here if it focuses that all the edges are all great there's no bubbles and stuff at the edges there we go Actually, it's going to lose focus there. What it is, I'll, I'll, I think I will have to switch it on. I just wanted you to see this before I switch it on. Hold on. See if I can try and get some focus. I'm sorry about this. I know this is all a bit random, but I'm just trying to do this as kind of like in one take as I can or as, as much as possible in one take. Now, I know that is you know, kind of going in and out of focus and stuff and what have you. But hopefully at this point you'll have seen that there's no bubbles in there and it's all perfectly aligned on the edges. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go away, switch this on and come back and have another look at it. Okay, so now with it all switched on and hopefully we've got a little bit more light on the screen and stuff, we can definitely see here that this has definitely gone on perfectly straight and there is no weirdness around the edges and there's no kind of major bubble I say major bubbles there's no bubbles anyway so yeah as we can definitely see there that has all gone on perfectly so just let me get around to this other edge here and we can even see there with the cameras the alignment's great with the hole on the camera and also the sensor there and then if we have a little look into the middle there hopefully we're getting some focus we can see that that is absolutely perfect <laughs> okay so i realized it got a bit weird at the end and i was pulling the glass up and all that craziness however the end result here is saying to me that this is a win for dave and finally just a quick look at the s7 in this case and the reason why i'm showing this is because as anyone will know who has put on any type of screen protector on any type of device if it hasn't gone on correctly or straight you you definitely won't be able to put your device or in this instance an s7 back into any kind of case like this which has got like you know a lip around the edges which holds the screen in place and stuff like that so yeah that's definitely all in alignment anyways i know that that got a little bit weird at that point where i was having to like you know flip the glass up and try and bring it back to catch those bubbles and then get them back out again however it did work and that might be something that could help somebody else if they get put into a similar situation where you know you can force those bubbles out with something at the edge but if they don't come out just lift the glass up a little bit gently and then let it resettle and it'll sort itself out hopefully like it did as i've just done it so that's me definitely done now because i've got to go away and do another video about a screensaver for a samsung galaxy s22 ultra <laughs> yeah anyway as far as this video is concerned everything that i've used in the video will be available via amazon links in the description below